consecutive times of at least 180 seconds, the latency to fall is measured. Each mouse is given up to three attempts to hold on to the inverted lid for a maximum of 180 seconds and the longest period is recorded. In comparison to the white wild type mouse on the right side, the black transgenic mouse on the left is very weak and falls off the lid before reaching the maximum. The rotor rod apparatus is used to measure motor coordination, balance and motor learning ability. A good performance requires a high degree of sensory motor coordination. It consists of a computer-controlled motor-driven rotating spindle and five lanes for five mice. Faults of the mice are detected automatically by pressure on the bottom plastic plate. After training for three consecutive times of at least 180 seconds at a constant speed of 15 rounds per minute, the time for which an animal can remain on the rotating rod is measured. Each animal undergoes three trials and the longest latency without falling is recorded. The healthy wild type mouse on the left hand side is running without difficulty on the rotor rod. In contrast, the transgenic ALS mouse on the right side has severe problems to even remain on the rotor rod and slips off after a while. Observed from behind, you see the severe running difficulties of the left transgenic mouse. In comparison with the healthy wild type mouse, it is not able to keep up with the rotor rod speed and cannot push upward 